It was Friday. As soon as the lunch bell rang in school, Meena and her friends ran to the garden. They were very hungry and all of them brought their lunch boxes there. My stomach is grumbling. Is your stomach a sound box? I want to hear it too. <laughs> I am so hungry that my stomach is making the sound of a big drum. Then why are we sitting idle? Let's open our lunch boxes and start eating. Hmm, looks like everyone has brought delicious food in their boxes from their homes. Meena, what's in your box? I have brought sarso ka saag and makke ki roti. Today is my grandmother's birthday. So my family made a special meal at home. And what's there in your box? Today I have brought moong dal, rice and salad. And I got fish pakoras. And I have biryani today. During this time, the teacher also came to the garden for some work. Oh wow! The smell of different food from your boxes is great. There is so much diversity in our country. And diversity in food is one of the things our country is known for. Oh, the food looks delicious and nutritious as well. Yes, yes madam. madam. We, we all have brought, brought nutritious, nutritious food. food. And as you explained, our food includes fruits, vegetables and grains as well. Very good. Complete food or balanced diet is very important for all of us. What is a balanced diet, ma'am? Amina, good question. Would anyone like to answer this? Yes, I can explain. A balanced diet means that a diet should contain food from all kinds of sources such as green vegetables, fruits, grains and meat in appropriate amount. That's very good, Ibrahim. Madam, but why do we need to eat a balanced diet? Meena, tell me, how do we feel if we don't eat for a long time? If I don't get food, I feel very hungry, followed by weakness. <laughs> food fulfills various needs of our body and due to the nutrients present in our food, we get energy, leading to the growth of our body. And these nutrients also protect different parts of our body. Different types of food possess different types of nutrients. Madam, do these fish pakoras also have different nutrients? How will I find this out? This is not at all difficult to find out. But before that, it is important for us to know what the different nutrients are. Some of the important nutrients are carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and some mineral salts. We get these in different types of foods. All children looked surprisingly at the teacher. This is very easy. Let's understand it this way. There are some types of foods that give us energy. All these foods contain high amount of carbohydrates. So, carbohydrates become a source of energy such as wheat, rice, maize, sugarcane, millet, potato, etc. Fat-rich foods are also a great source of energy. We get these from two types of sources which are plants such as peanuts, almonds, coconut oil, etc. and animals such as milk, ghee, meat, fish, eggs, etc. The next nutrient is protein which is very important for the growth of our body. It includes meat, eggs, fish which comes under animal sources and pulses, peas, soybean which comes under plant sources. Hmm, I have biryani in my box and biryani includes rice, carbohydrates, pieces of meat, fat and protein. So biryani is a balanced diet. 
Amina is absolutely right. But teacher, how can we find out what nutrients are in other food items? It is not at all difficult to find out. But we will discuss about this in the next class. To find out more about nutrients, we will consult the science laboratory teacher and will also learn about vitamins and minerals.